trying and I'm trying and I'm trying and nothing seems to work. And that's not just with him. It's just with everything. Okay. Okay. So like, but in terms of his asthma, it's, you're feeling like you're doing I'm everything trying. that you can and then it's still not working. Still and not so working. then that makes you feel even worse. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it sounds like his asthma is having, also having an impact on your depression. Um, what about in terms of your symptoms? Like I can imagine that, you know, if you're having difficulty, um, if you're super tired and you're having difficulty, like concentrating and I try to push through. Okay. Okay. But I can imagine like it could be hard to like remember to give his medications or or things like that. Or, um, you know, like there's a lot of cleaning involved. Like I can imagine that would be really difficult if you're experiencing depression. Have you experienced any of that? Um, yeah, yeah, um, uh, but for like, I, m- I make sure I give him his medicine. I'm not gonna sit and say I don't, but mm-hmm. I make sure I give him his medicine when he needs it mm-hmm. on the time, even if I have to set my reminder. Okay, I set a reminder so that he can take his medicine, but far as household duties <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't have the energy to do it okay there's just it's nothing there so like laundry cleaning it's like all the thing. stuff that goes like into I will make sure that yeah they're sh- they have everything that they need to go to school mm-hmm. with but there's nothing there mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's just I'm tired yeah no I can I can hear that yeah um and what about like if he's do you think it's having any impact on your ability to like respond to his symptoms? Like if he, you know, like starts having symptoms, do you think it's having any impact on you noticing that or like delaying? No, because you know, I, I notice when something is wrong with him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, because if I don't catch it in time, mm-hmm. I'll panic. Okay. So I try to catch everything. Okay, so you're almost like maybe more vigilant, mm-hmm. like hyper, kind of hyper vigilant. It sounds like mm-hmm. when it comes to his symptoms, not just his, my daughter's too. Okay, and hers. So okay. it's like, what about in terms of like making decisions um, to go to urgent care or the emergency department? Like, what what's your like what goes through your mind in terms of those decisions? Immediately, I have to go immediately. It's, it's stop every stop everything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We gotta go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If I can't control it, it's stop everything. Let's go. Okay, and it's like you have um, an asthma action plan for both yes. of them. Yes. Okay, and so you're following basically like following whatever that says in yes. terms of the red and yellow and green, green. Zone. Mm-hmm. yeah, or green, <laughs> yellow, and red zones. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so it sounds like his asthma like the severity or like the severity of it is having almost having more of an effect on you potentially than than your depression on the asthma mm-hmm. okay all right um oops I lost my paper here we go All right, and so he's on, um, does he have a daily controller medication, or? Yes, he just started a new, mo- I cannot remember the oh. name of it, of it, but he's on a new medicine, a beautiful, mm-hmm. medicinal, mm-hmm. Flovent, and I can't remember the, the one that he just started, I can't remember that one. Okay. So he's on a bunch. Okay. Um... What about like refilling prescriptions? Have you ever had any issues with that? No. Oh, good. Okay. All right. Awesome. Um, okay. All right. I think we can shift gears then into um, talking about the depression screening and referral process that mm-hmm. happened um, happened when you came to the asthma clinic. So. I wanted to ask you some questions about your experience being asked about your mental health at your child's asthma clinic visit. Um, As you know, the asthma clinic began screening caregivers for symptoms of depression and providing resources and information 
and we want to know what participating in the screening and referral process was like for you. So first, um, if you could just walk me through your memory of what happened in the screening and referral process. So not so much what happened with his asthma in that visit, but the whole, the whole you visit know, for you. like the visit in terms of you the get, information. Yeah, like you getting um, screened and they gave me information on his asthma. Mm -hmm. They gave me information, well, different resources to to get help with my depression. Uh -huh. Um. And I think that's the problem. Yeah, I think that's about it. We went over everything, the resources. Yeah, okay. okay. From did what I can remember, <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. about it. Yeah. Um, and do you remember who talked to you about it? Was it the asthma educator? Was it the physician? We had the educator and the physician came in. Okay. So he got the, she had the physician got to listen to him and she wants him to come back in June to see her again. Okay. And in terms of the depression, did, did the provider talk to you? Did she talk to you about it? Yes. Okay. She gave me the resources and to reach out and get all that done. <clears throat> okay. Um, okay. And I think at the time, did you, so you filled out a two item screening tool, I think, and then a longer one? I think so. No, it was kind of something like this. It was, so it was so like sweet and simple, yes. Okay. And then um, there was one that had more questions, though, that listed out, like, the, all the symptoms of depression? Mm-hmm. Okay. I believe so. Okay. And then did you, Phil, did you get asked about suicidal ideation as well? No. Okay. Like, if you were having any thoughts of um, suicide or... No. Okay. So that wasn't part of the visit. Okay. And then you got some information about... Um, depression mm -hmm. and then did you get a you got a pamphlet about resources to yes. contact okay. yes okay um and i know you talked about this a little bit earlier but what was it like to be asked about your mental health at your child's asthma visit it was, at first it was a little uncomfortable uh -huh. but then i just started talking <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it was it was they they didn't make me feel uncomfortable mm -hmm. but for me to come out and talk about it, it was, for me, it was uncomfortable for me. But yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah. It wasn't like the, per they made you feel They didn't, no, right, they didn't make right. me feel uncomfortable, but. Yeah, it's just like, it's really for personal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you were saying, too, that you didn't realize that you had depression until you. Until I filled out the paper. Filled out that paper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what was that like, realizing um, that you filled it out? It was a, sh I don't want to say a shocker, mm -hmm. but it was like, wow. Well, yeah, a shocker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And have you, um, so since participating in that screening and the referral process, um, has that had an impact on your depressive symptoms? Yeah, a little bit, mm -hmm. but not a lot. How so? I'm just be honest. Yeah. Like, some things I think about and some things I just go with the flow. And that was just... So it kind of, it sounds like it raised your awareness. Mm-hmm. But then you just kind of went back to doing what you've been doing? Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. Did you talk to anyone about it? Mm hmm Family members. Mm hmm That's about it. And was that helpful? <sighs> <laughs> no? I'm guessing that's a no. No. Because <laughs> it's, it's still there. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's always going to be there, but... Mm -hmm. I just, I just go in shutdown mode, if you get what I'm saying. I do. I just do. shut down. Yeah. Um, so if it were up to you to decide, how would you like the asthma clinic to respond to depressive symptoms in parents or caregivers? Hmm, that's a good question. 